morning students. Welcome to science lessons where science learning is so amazing. This is your teacher Scientistica, Mom Donna. Are you now ready to learn new things? For today's lesson, we will tackle about the law of conservation of mass and balancing chemical equation. This lesson aims to help you apply the principles of conservation of mass to chemical reactions. Furthermore, you are expected to First, state the law of conservation of mass. Second, explain the law of conservation of mass using common chemical reactions around us. And lastly, balance given chemical equations. In your previous lesson, you have learned about chemical change that matter undergoes and the evidence of such chemical change. Let us have a quick recap. Determine the evidence manifested by the following chemical changes by matching column A with column B. Write your answer in a clean sheet of paper. I will give you 25 seconds to answer all items. The correct answer is to your recap are number 1, B, 2, A, 3, C, 4, D, number 5, C. From the time that we get up in the morning to the time that we sleep at night, chemical changes are taking place within us and outside of us. Imagine you enter a closed system. A room that is perfectly sealed where nothing can enter the room and nothing can escape. In this closed system, you will light a candle and let it burn. Watching as some of the wax seems to disappear as the flame travels down the web. Where does the wax go? Is it truly disappearing? If your answer is no, then you are right. Knowing that in a closed system, the mass of the system cannot change over time. Though much of the wax itself is no longer present in its original form, all the mass of the wax is still present in the room, but all in different form. Before we discuss the lesson, let us have a pretest. Answer the following questions by choosing the correct answer. Below. After listening to this lesson, I am sure that you can answer all the activities. Antoine Lavoisier was an 18th century French scientist and was considered as the father of modern chemistry. His experiments confirm that although matter may change its form, the total mass remains constant. The law of conservation of mass states that matter can neither be created nor destroyed. It can, however, be rearranged. For example, 
let's place 5 zinc and 5 sulfur atoms on the two sides of the pen balance. The two sides balance because the content of each pen are identical. Consider the reaction of zinc with sulfur atoms on one side of the balance to form zinc sulfide. Five zinc atoms will react with five sulfur atoms with a tremendous release of energy to form five zinc sulfide molecules. The two sides are still exactly balanced. The total number of zinc and sulfur atoms on each side are still identical, demonstrating the law of conservation of mass. We can remember the law of conservation in a simple statement. The mass of the reactants must be equal to the mass of their products. Always remember that a balanced chemical equation has equal number of atoms for each element involved in the reaction are represented on the reactant and product sides. What are the steps in balancing chemical equations? First, write the unbalanced chemical equation. Make sure that you have followed correctly the rules in writing formulas of compounds. Second, Take note of the elements present in the reactant and product side. Third, count the number of atoms of each element present in the reactant and product side. And lastly, apply the law of conservation of mass to get the same number of atoms of every element of each side of the equation. Let's try this. To balance a chemical equation, First, write the given formula with the reactants on the left side of the arrow and products on the right. For example, your equation should look something like H2 plus O2 yields to H2O. Count the number of atoms on each element on each side of the equation and list them under that side. For the equation H2 plus O2 to produce H2O, there are two hydrogen atoms being added to two oxygen atoms on the left. So you will write H equals 2 and O equals 2. There are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom on the right. So you would write H equals 2. And O is equal to 1. On the right, since the number of atoms in each element is not identical in both sides, the equation is not balanced. To balance the equation, you need to add coefficients to change the number of atoms on one side to match the other. For the equation H2 plus O2 yields to H2O, you would add the coefficients 2 before H2 on the right side so that there are two oxygen atoms on each side of the equation like H2 plus O2 yields to 2H2O. However, subscripts can't be changed and they're always multiplied by the coefficients which means there are now four hydrogen atoms on the right side of the equation and only two hydrogen atoms on the left side. To balance this, add the coefficients 2 before H2 on the left side of the equation so there are four hydrogen atoms on each side like 2H2 plus O2 yields to 2H2O. Now, the number of atoms in each element is the same on both sides of the equation. So the equation is balanced. To check your understanding on the law of mass conservation and balancing chemical equation, answer the next activity. Balance each of the following equation by supplying the appropriate coefficient and the space provided.
activities interesting? Did you enjoy answering all the activities? I know that you performed well in answering. Good job! To check your understanding for today's lesson, complete the statements by filling up the blank. Enjoy learning!